Hello there and welcome to Linux S2. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what is the best way to install Android Studio in a Linux distribution. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use Ubuntu, but you are free to use any distro that is based on Linux. So the guide is for all the distribution. There are many ways to install Android Studio in a Linux distribution nowadays, but the one that I'm going to show you is the best one because it will give you the updates immediately and uh, you will be able to use the Android Studio more efficiently. So what you want to do is just head on to the website, the official website of Android Studio. So just type the Android Studio in the browser and you will get this developer.android.com website. Just click on it and here you shall get this download button. So just click on this download Android Studio button and uh, this will give you some kind of uh, agreement to be agreed to. So just click on I have read and agreed just to click on download and studio for Linux and uh, so this will automatically detect your distribution so you don't have to choose like which operating system you are using so this will give you an archive and this archive is around one gigabyte so you have to download this archive and this will not take much time if you have even five gigabytes of internet connection you will be fine so I have already downloaded this file for the demonstration and uh, the file is here so here you can see this is the file I have so you can simply extract this file just right click and extract here this will take some time depending upon the processor you have in your system and it will simply extract the file and it will give you this folder here inside this folder you will get another folder named Android Studio just open it up and here you have to run few commands so simply open this file install linux star and see what's going on here so it is saying you have to run this studio.sh file okay so here is the file so this is studio.sh so you have to run this file so i'm just going to right click here and open in the terminal and i'm going to hit ls here and you can see this is the shell file that you have to execute and to execute the file just dot slash and studio dot sh hit the enter and it will do its thing this will take some time it's basically copying and pasting so here you can see it is showing a pop-up so this pop-up is for if you have already have a android studio installed in your system then this can take the conf configuration file from the previous installation but if you want to install a fresh new then you have to select do not import any settings just click OK and this will show some kind of pop-up screen now. So here is the pop-up screen and this is saying you can share your user's data if you want to Google for the understanding like how Android Studio is performing in your system and they will modify the application as per the data. So I'm going to say send user's statistics to Google and this will take some more time now and this is basically updating the repo. Here you get this setup wizard window. Just click on next and uh, you get two options. One is standard and another one is custom. So if you need any customization, specific customization, then you have to go with this option. Most of us don't need any customization. I mean, not a specific customization. So you just have to click standard and uh, click next. This will give you two options again. And this is for theme selection. So this is the dark theme and this is the light theme. I usually like the dark theme because it is very calm with the eyes and uh, you can choose Dracula but for this tutorial I'm going to select light and hit next so in this window you can see this has to download some files that are necessary to do Android development so this will download some build tools the latest 29 version build tools and some other tools that are necessary so let's click next and this will do its thing and uh, get all the files automatically from the Google server and the downloading will be faster than usual because the files are being downloaded from Google server and not from any ordinary server. So Google has their servers in all the countries. So the files get downloaded faster than usual. And uh, this may take few minutes, not more than like 10 minutes or something, even if you have a very minor internet connection. So let's wait for it and see how much time it takes. So in this window, you can also see like what it's doing right now. So this is downloading the platform tools and now it is downloading the emulator.
so it's done now it took around five minutes in my system so everything is done now i can simply click finish and uh, this will open this welcome screen of uh, typical android studio so i'm just going to close this terminal from here i can simply close it i'm going to close this window from here and uh, this installation guide as well now let's open up the android studio so i'm just going into the menu and search for android studio and i'm not able to see the android studio and if this happens to you then what you have to do you have to create a desktop entry for that you have to open up your file manager and uh, if you remember we just extract this folder here so you have to you can simply rename this folder so i'm just going to cut this folder from here to the main directory i'm going to delete this file and this folder from here so this is the actual android studio and uh, these are the tools that are required to build an android application so just i'm just going into bin folder here and going to right click again and going to open the studio.sh file again so this will start the android studio so you can see the android studio is starting up and this is the window that we got earlier so you don't have to close that window but in case if you closed it then you can start it again like this then you have to go to configure options here and you have to click on create desktop entry and uh, this will say create the entry for all users requires super user privilege or if you just want to create for this particular user the one you are logged in with then you can simply hit ok this will create a desktop entry you can see the icon has appeared here and this is saying desktop entry created so what i can do now i can close this window from here and now i will search again android studio in the menu and i can see this little icon here the cool looking icon and uh, this will start the android studio automatically so you don't have to go into the sources folder and then open up the terminal and start the android studio now what you can do you can just click on start android studio project then you can click here choose the available template here and next and start your android project so this way you can configure and install android studio in any link distributions and uh, this is not particular just for ubuntu this doesn't matter like uh, what kind of distribution you are using it just the process and the process is same in all kind of distributions so that was it and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux